Here is a Black and Decker cup at a time trademark coffee maker, which, as it implies, makes one cup at a time. It is the Black and Decker DCM6 Type 1, 800 watts. That's a lot of power for a small thing like this. There's the rest of the informations. Made in the China. And it has a Connecticut location on it, which I find kind of curious because as far as I know it, there's no Black & Decker anything around here. Stores or businesses or anything like that. I don't know what that's referring to. If they had like a some kind of office around here. I mean, it's made in China, so there, there couldn't have been a, a manufacturing plant or anything. Um, if anybody knows about that, let me know. I find that very intriguing. Anyways, uh, it's got a polarized plug, so it probably was a product of the 2000s. It's got a pretty short cord, but it's long enough that it would still be enough to plug into most places on the kitchen corner. I don't see a date code of any kind on here. It's UL listed, supposedly. It's in very clean condition. It almost looks like it was never used. It's got what looks like probably a neon indicator light there. I guess this is the starting switch. I don't know. Not really a coffee maker collector or anything so I don't really know what what people would want to see about it on video so I'll move this over here so we can see the power draw I'll go ahead and plug this thing in and it's already drawing 776 watts so I'm going to shut it off because it would seem like it should not be started without the water in it so I'll go ahead and pour the water in it right next to the power bar because as you know water and electricity mix lovely okay so the water is in there now and that it didn't use up all the water but we'll just put the rest of it there and now let's turn it back on and see what transpires okay there we go it's pulling all the watts again the indicator light is on, and it definitely looks like an old neon indicator to me. Oh, the coffee's already coming out a little bit. this button does. It doesn't appear to do anything. Yeah, the water is scalding hot, so it is working. That's really fast. I, no wonder it draws so much power. pretty quiet. You hear a little bit of boiling in there, but not much. I don't know if that junk came out or if the mug was dirty. I know the mug was dirty. It wasn't one from the kitchen. It was just one I had kicking around the shop here. It's going to fill that mug almost all the way to the top, which uh, I'm realizing that was not a good idea because I don't really feel like carrying a mug full of scalding hot water that's, you know, a quarter inch down from the rim all the way across the house. Oh well.
Okay, it looks like it just went off on thermal overload and the uh, unit has stopped. Looks like it went through all the water just fine. Alright, so now let's go ahead and dump this out and uh, I'm suspecting that that light, that that switch there, oh, and the light too I guess, will probably restart the machine. I don't know where that junk came from, I bet that was just in the mug. Probably should open up the unit and clean it out anyways, I don't know if it's been used or not. I don't think anybody getting poisoned from drinking tainted coffee in my house. Let's fill this up again. I won't fill it up all the way this time. I'll just fill it up that much. Why it doesn't start in the off position when you plug it in is kind of beyond me, but whatever. So let's do that. There we go. It did reset. And we're back to pulling almost 800 watts right around where it's rated for. And it should start brewing any soon now. And there it goes. It's brewing once again. It doesn't come out of the spout very well all over the place. I wonder if it would be uh, more even if it had a filter in it. I mean, it doesn't really matter how it comes out, but it just doesn't seem quite correct to me. You know what it just occurred to me? I'm pretty sure that's a physical switch there, not anything electronic. So I suspect that the last time this was used, it was unplugged before, either before it tripped out or it could have been pressed down and reset while it was unplugged. I suspect that's what transpired. There's no more uh, junk appearing in the mug, so maybe that was just residual from whatever was in the mug. Just to confirm or deny my theory, I'm going to shut this off. Let's see. Nope. So I guess it does only reset when it's on. It's not resetting now because it's still hot. So I'm not sure how that works. Alright, well, either way, the unit does work, and uh, I suspect. My grandfather in particular probably get a lot of use out of this thing.